So, hola, hello everyone. We want to, we need to start, okay, because we have only a few minutes, okay, to talk about a lot of things. Uh, welcome to our presentation about the video data and open source intelligence. My name is Fran Gomez. This is uh, Cesar Jimenez. Welcome. Uh, we work at uh, Debo. Okay. Um, today we are, we want we we are going to talk about video analysis and face recognition. Okay. And the idea is we want to start just uh, making a, a demo. Okay. Before to explain how to do all, all the things that we are seeing in the in this demo. Okay. So. Start with the video or the... Mm. Like you prefer. Okay, so... We need this mobile, okay? This mobile is just uh, an Android and have a, um, a streaming server. So, the idea is we, we want to share our mobile phone with you to try to recognize the guys uh, that are here to today. Okay. Let me see. This. No, no, this not. The other one. Okay, we are getting the, the streaming. Okay, perfect, it's working. So I need a volunteer. <laughs> okay, these guys are the perfect guys to start. Maybe you can... Okay, oh! The system is... <laughs> recognize you. And you, okay? These guys are working on Devo. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. Do you want to try? Nothing unknown <laughs> and unknown. Okay. The, uh, the next minutes we will try to do this, but using our LinkedIn contact to search if any of you are in our LinkedIn contacts. So, I need to stop this because the battery is not. Why? Why? we are talking about the video analysis. The idea is, today we're trying to explain you the importance of the processing of the video right now, because it's one of the things that government and companies are doing to get a lot of information, okay? First, we will start talking about the open source intelligence. How many of you know what is open source intelligence? Nobody? Two guys, okay. The open source intelligence is just to get all the information that you can get from different sources, okay? Mainly, I don't know, governmental information, uh, networks, social networks, anything else, okay? Open source intelligence was defined in 1992, 1992, uh, with an old style definition, okay? But since uh, so, seems up to date, but the definition is uh, good for our time, or nowadays, because the, only the, the, the format and only the way you are getting the information is changed. Yes, but talk, talking about newspaper and CDs. CDs. <laughs> this is as it is. Okay, a modern definition is this, okay, open source intelligence is the data collected from publicly available sources to be used to be in an intelligent to be used in an intelligent context okay so the idea is get a lot of information and apply this in a different use case for example national security counter terrorism cyber tracking i don't know monitoring uh, people and even to get calculate the roi in your advertisement and so on so today we are focused on the video analysis, okay? Because by 20, by um, 2021, 2021, thanks, Tessa. 80% right. of the world's internet traffic will be video, okay? Video is one of the things that is growing exponentially, 
in the social networks, okay? So nowadays, in this year, 90 million of terabytes per month, per month on the internet are video, okay? And only 2% are from surveillance. So video is a really great opportunity to get a lot of information to use in your companies or in the, in the governments. So you can see all of the networks support to upload video to, the, to these networks. Next, we will try to explain quickly a video that's, that is uh, just processing a, a ISIS propaganda video. And the content is maybe some sensitive, OK? We apologize for the image. So the idea is you can get a video. This is typically from the military uh, intelligence or uh, no, mass. It's more to the... Um, sí, uh, this kind of agencies. Yes, no, no, not the typical information that you are looking for in a video. Okay, the idea is with the information about the context of the video, the building, the buses, you can get where the, the video was recorded. Okay, in this case, just using Google Maps to correlate the information that you are seeing in the video with the information that you can get from Google Maps. And then, even you can get, uh, you can know when the video was uh, recorded because in this case, this guy uh, was killed by this uh, terrorist and the, the blood in the, in the ground. Yeah, and the brushes. You can show when the, the, the blood appears in the Google Maps history screenshot, okay? So the information in, the, in this video is not only a guy killing other guys, okay? There are more information in the video. But today, we are focused on the face recognition, OK? In this case, because uh, the face recognition is an application which has mm, a lot of advance, advances in recent years, OK? Before Cesar start uh, explaining you in detail how we can uh, correlate, how we can detect the, the faces and, and compare with the faces that you have in your database, I want to, to explain you in a six simple steps, OK? First, you need to know where the face is. Ho using Hog or CNN, you can get where the face is in the image. Okay? Then you can get the shape. You can get all the information from the face, in this case, creating or calculating the landmarks. And then you can scale or rotate or cutting the, the, the face that you are getting, because you need to put in the same position that all the other face that you have in, that, in your database. When you have this, you can calculate the, the vector array that defines this phase. Okay, in this case, there are 1,028 uh, measurements that define this phase. This phase okay? And then you can compare with all the phase that you have in your database. This is a, a typical um, correlation about the phase that you are getting from a video and phase that you, are in your, you have in your database. Okay? So, okay. What are the phase, Cesar? I don't know. <laughs> Try to find. Okay. Uh, in the first step, we are talking about where are the face. The first problem in the first step is identify where are the face, and the recognition of face is a very complicated task in some case. Like you can see in this image that Will Ferrer and Charles Smith are. Um, it's like a twins, <laughs> and. Not only face, recognizing objects, in some case, is a very, very complicated task. No? If you can to try to identify chihuahuas and muffins in this image, it's very, very difficult. This kind of things yeah, yeah, uh, make the, the new algorithms, not new, but uh, is with more advanced in the last years. And the first of the techniques that see is HOG, Histogram of Oriented Algorithms. The HOG techniques was developed in, in 2005 and tried to find in, in one image a pattern. The pattern is the movement to the more darkness points in the image. And with this mo movement, uh, we make or we draw a vector in this direction. In this image, or faces, you can see the hog result 
in the little window. And in this hook result, you can identify the phase patterns. And the, the technique is to compare all the objects, all the cells in the image with this pattern. And when you find the same pattern, you find a phase. OK, the classification for this kind of, of patterns is across a support vector machine. Support vector machine is a, a all algorithm in machine learning, but it's very useful in this case because you can uh, you can separate the plane in two areas, and in each area you can find uh, a faces or no faces in the image. This separation is uh, between a hyperplane in n dimensions. You can see in two dimensions and it's a line, but in n dimension this is a hyperplane, a surface in the in the uh, in the scope of the of the sample. Come here, ah, please. Sorry. <laughs> well, the next method to, find, to try to find faces in, Im in image are convolutional neural network. You can see in this image the transformation across the convolution um, subsampling layers. But the first of, of this step is a convolutional uh, layer. The convolutional layer is very easy to understand because I have a matrix, the convolutional matrix, or the, or the kernel, the matrix in the middle of the image. And in this kernel, you can put some values. In this case, this kernel is used to detect vertical edge in an image. You can an image in the, in the left part of the presentation, and you can move the kernel across all the image and make this, this operation that you can see in the first steps, 7 uh, times 1 plus 2 times 0, and the final result go to the final convolution matrix. For example, if you, can, if you need to detect vertical edge in an image, you can see the image in the left, ha in the left side, and with this kernel, you can detect in the center the vertical, the vertical edge. You can use this kind of convolutional matrix in GIMP. GIMP has the in tool the option to apply this kind of matrix. And you can practice and try with this kind of convolution. Well, the second step in a, neural, in a convolutional neural network uh, it's a subsampling. The most used operation is max pooling. In this case, it's very easy. You cut the matrix in portions, in this example, uh, uh, 2 times 2, and in each portion of the matrix, you can choose only the highest value. In this case, for the first 2 times 2 portion, you can choose the 7, in the next, the 9, and these kind of things. Well, these operations are previous a neural network. And you can concatenate a lot of these kind of operations to obtain, in the last step of these layers, a, a vector flattening all the mm, uh, previous matrix. And is this vector is the input to a normal neural network with her inputs, her, uh, her layers, her outputs, and her weights, and like a normal neural network. OK, caution. You can use CNN in a CNN video, because the wall can be explored by recursions. OK, when you choose to uh, to identify where are the face, HOG or CNN. Well, HOG has best accuracy, uh, pardon, HOG has faster and can be used in video in real time, and CNN have best accuracy and can be used in processing offline videos and this kind of tasks. Okay, with these techniques, 
we, only, we not only recognize face, can be used to recognize objects like flags in this example. The next step, we know the coordinates of the face in an image. The next phase is calculate the face landmark. The face landmarks are only uh, uh, points in the nose, in the eyes, in the eyebrow, to identify the face. And this kind of points can be aligned to the same position for the next step. This is uh, a best technique to, the, to obtain better results in the next phase. Only uh, apply, apply a fine transformation like rotation, translation, and scratching, and these kind of things. And you obtain all the landmarks in the same position, aligned to the same position. Well, the, the last step in face recognition is a face encoding. Face encoding is used an algorithm created two, two, 2015 by Google and obtain a 128 measurements of each face. This is like an automobile plate or plate of the person because this number is the same or very similar for the same person, but are very different for persons that are not the same person. This is like a vector in a 128 dimensions. When you, uh, when you try to identify the faces, you only compare these two vectors and uh, you calculate the Euclidean distance between these vectors and try to find if a person is the person that I can find. In this case, you can obtain true positive, the person is and is recognized, false positive, the person is not the fine person, but is identified like a person that I try to find. The false negative, the person is, but don't identify the person. And the true negative, the person is not the person that I can find and is not recognized like this. We, we use a tolerance to move between this balance between true positive, false positive, and using this balance, you can move the tolerance and move the rock curve to obtain the result that you, that you can try. Okay. okay. You want to make the, the demo right now, the LinkedIn demo? Yeah, if you yeah. like. We have time to, to try the, the another demo using this, the mobile, okay? And we will try to detect who of you are in our LinkedIn contacts. So maybe, can I use the camera? Mm -hmm. No. This camera. Yes. And then, what? <coughs> Hola. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Chan, chan. I know. Tengo el <coughs> yeah. people in there. Okay. Maybe you again. Looks like Samuel is a contact in my LinkedIn account. You 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 know me? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a typical false positive, okay? Yes, because it in Facebook, uh, if, sorry, in LinkedIn, we have only you one you want to uh, photo okay, of okay, each okay. person. This kind of uh, training with a, <laughs> with a few the, the, photos the, uh, of the uh, same person launch a lot of false positives. I know all of you. <laughs> <laughs> you are in my LinkedIn contact? No. <laughs> <laughs> and the Cesar contact? I don't know, <laughs> but I think no. Okay, the problem here is 
you need to 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 take the the video in a good uh, with uh, good um, light, okay, a great camera. Right now we are just uh, sending the the video in streaming to the to the laptop, but uh, the idea is if you only have uh, one picture from your target, you can get uh, the target in a, in a yeah. good <laughs> way, okay? But we have here a video that we are using the, the same approach, but with all the guys in the, in the company. Is this, no? I think so. Okay, here we are trying to get from all the guys in the in the office who are in the LinkedIn contact from Caesar and um, my LinkedIn contact. Okay, the idea is here. So the, the 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 training is the same. We have only one picture, but the camera is good and the light is good. Maybe you can go to the here. We can show. Some of guys are in the both of, of of contacts, okay? So this is the, the the idea is you are getting all the information so you are getting the information from the face and you are trying to, to recognize the base of your database. But now we are going to show the next step. The next step is this unknown unknowns. How many of you know where this expression comes from? The unknown unknowns? Nobody? Okay, Donald, explain us. There are reports that there is no evidence of a direct link between Baghdad and some of these terrorist organizations. There are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say, we know there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns. The ones we don't know, we don't know. <laughs> so... That is the unknown unknowns, okay? All the things that you know, that you know, th that you don't know, okay? So this is to introduce our use case. Our use case is just to try to process all the information from ISIS propaganda. I don't know if you are familiar with this, but ISIS is the, 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 the Islam. Islamic State, okay? And it's publishing in, no in social networks a lot of propaganda related with the, with the terrorism, okay? So the problem is the social network can stop this kind of videos, and we think we, we need to, to take advance from the videos. Uh, the idea is we are getting the videos from the propaganda to classify all the people that is in these videos, okay? Because the guys you, you know, the, the people that are in the database from Interpol, FBI, I don't know, it's easy to, to, uh, to, to detect in, the, in a video, to, to know that this video contains this guy. Okay, but the problem is we need to catalogate all the people that is in this kind of videos, okay, because it's the first step to identify these guys. So our demo is, is completely live, okay. We have here an, an storm, okay. Uh, we have a, a topology, and um, the idea is we start the topology right now using uh, two videos just to show how the topology is working, and then we try to explain the architecture of the topologies, what is the topology doing. Yes. So All the code was published, will be published in our uh, Git, uh, GitHub account of the company, GitHub account, as you can obtain this kind of proof of concept in four weeks, approximately. Or not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, sorry. You yes, you in, this in this proof of context, you can try to use with uh, videos, photos, and, and whatever you want. And the idea is all the, 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 the ideas in the presentation can be used for us in in your in your computers. Okay, we start the topology. The topology right now is just uh, waiting for a for a video in a in a folder. Okay, the idea is just to get in this this video using uh, different queries from the from the Google, from YouTube. Okay. 
target I don't know if the that is this one okay so we put the video here and then the topology start working okay the results are in the face uh, folder and we are getting uh, two two kind of results the the guys that we know okay the guys that we have in our database we train the database uh, with these guys, and in the other side, we have all the people that we don't know. Okay, but we don't get only the people that we don't know. We don't get the people that we don't know uh, in in different folders, and each folder is the is one folder to one guy. Okay, because it's the is we are trying to to get all the all the people in the in the video to process uh, in a bad processing just to identify using another techniques okay so because this is a hard processing and maybe we need to to wait to see some results here we have the first guy zero folder the second guy okay <coughs> maybe we can put this running and then continue with the presentation okay maybe you are like homer simpson right now now we're going to run a few tests this is a simple lie detector i'll ask you a few yes or no questions and you just answer truthfully do you understand yes okay so let's just start <laughs> We need to, to explain the, the architecture. The architecture is quite simple. We are using OpenCV just to, to process in all the images, okay? And then we are using uh, Apache Storm just to, to the, to the real-time processing because we are using uh, Delib uh, joined to a face recognition library in Python that help us to, to process in all the information in the, in the image, okay? The idea is, we are we are just getting the information and trying to 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 process in a real time. Okay, this is why we are using a storm and not only just a, an, an script. Okay, so the architecture is so easy. The topology is getting the the video and is uh, getting some frames from the video because we are not processing all the streaming. We are just processing the frames from the video and sampling this this video. Then we are identify all the face in the video. Okay, and each uh, face is going to the facial recognition. Okay, the facial recognition is just to query our database to know if this face are is in your in our database, or just putting in a an, uh, the sorry, and put in the know people. Okay, if you don't know who is this guy, you put in the next uh, step, and the next step is trying to uh, detect. Uh, the relationship between the unknowns, okay? We are putting the guys that we don't know in the unknown people. And then we try to process these unknown people to uh, correlate, to put join all together in different uh, folders. Okay, the, the question is, what kind of algorithms we are using to try and to catalog all the people that we don't know? Why we are using Chinese Whisper? Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about this kind of algorithms. Well, the question that we need to resolve is, in this video, how many different people appear? In this other video, how many people appear, disappear in the first video? This kind of task needs to aggrupate or, or make a group uh, with all the face that you can find in a video. Okay, for this, we are trying some techniques. The first of all is a proximity hash. A proximity hash is a hash function, but not like a cryptographic function, because in this case, can be used over image, and this function uh, take an output, e and the output, is uh, very similar when the image is very similar. This kind of techniques don't work properly because uh, the background of the image, the lighting in the image can 
can modify the output of this proximity has and don't work properly. The second, uh, uh, and the second technique or algorithm that try is a uh, Cummins algorithm. It's a very use, uh, useful algorithm. When you try to classificate without uh, training, and in this algorithm you uh, choose the groups of the of the of the data. In this case, the group of the face, based in a partition of the Euclidean space, and choosing a centroid around all the similar objects or the similar data are a grouped. In this case, the, the algorithms work properly when you know how many people are in the video, how many different people are in the video. But in this case, don't work properly because the estimation of the number of centroids, mm, non, we, don't, we, don't, we don't obtain a good result with this kind of estimation. Well, what al algorithm of techniques works for us, the Chinese Whisper. The Chinese Whisper is an algorithm that used in natural language processing and is very simple to understand and very simple to implement because only uh, follow these three steps. Organize all the people in our case in a groups, uh, linking this group for the proximity of the 128 measurements that obtain the, uh, across the recognition phase, and it's worked properly and group every people in, in, in a very simple and speedy, speedy form. Okay, okay. Go back to the, to the demo. I don't know if the, okay. Here, for example, this is a guy that we have in the database. In this case, it's uh, Abula Faisal. Okay, we are training the the we are have we are in the we have in the database, so we are detecting this guy in the in the video. Okay, and in the other side we have these guys, the, the groups in the whisper algorithm that are the same person. The problem is the the algorithm works properly when the time pass. Okay, you need a lot of time to move the guys in the different groups and put in the correct uh, group, okay? Because the, the right now, the algorithm is just trying to move, trying to... To, to overpay this kind of persons. Okay. Yes, because it's working in real time. And in the algorithm, if you see the step previously in the, in the slide, the algorithm moves the person from one group to other group uh, around the time. Uh, until the, 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 the works converge or a uh, predetermined number of steps. But in this case, the algorithm is working until all the groups converge and have a good approximation. This is a false positive because all the phase that we have for this guy, the Abu al-Baghdadi, are just in front. Okay, it's not the, the side of the of the face. And in this case, this guy is just trying to the, the algorithm is trying to identify a face, but the face is not in the correct position. Okay. So just Yeah. As you can see, the false positive is a very complicated problem to solve in this kind of work. And in all the work that you can see in presentation only show the true positive case. In this case, we prefer to show what is the reality of this kind of algorithms work properly, but need a lot of uh, training with correct faces and uh, require to choose the tolerance for that kind of detection that you can obtain. So what, what is the social impact right now with the face is the face recognition okay the the face recognition is just in the in the companies is just in the <laughs> in your life okay 
companies and government and are trying to to know where are you, uh, to know where, what what are you doing here, uh, who are you? Okay, so the retail stores are using the face uh, recognition to know how many times you are going to the to the to the store. Okay, maybe they don't know your name, but they know that you are there and you are buying something. Yeah, in this article. Uh, talk about Walmart. Walmart okay. yeah, Tesla, Tesla is deploys a, a massive new autopilot neural. Okay, what means this? Tesla has a, a lot of video where people with people with cars with a, a, another <laughs> with all the streets. Okay, is this information right now is just using to to the cars, but this information will be sold in a moment. Okay, uh, and this information is a great information to know where a guy are in a moment and what are they are doing. So, even the the visual search is one thing that the the companies are doing. Okay, you just see uh, something, just search and buy. Okay? Yes, this is a demo in a Snapchat. Snapchat. Uh, uh, a visual find. So even you can buy a, a webcam, including all these features. Okay, all the features in face recognition are included in the Amazon, in this Amazon webcam, okay? Yeah. And then the, 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 the best example of this is the China Social Score program. Yes, yeah, the most controversial. <laughs> because they are trying to, to correlate all the information, of the, they, to, they want to know all about the citizen just to, to put a score in each citizen and then, pues, I don't know. Maybe punish the the guys uh, without fast uh, trains, without uh, good schools. I don't Exclusion know. for hotels, ban for flies. So we need to defend. Yeah. Okay. It's time to defend. What can we do to defend against this? You can spend money and get this cap. Okay. This cap is just trying to. To blind. To blind the, the cameras, okay? Yes. But you need to, to put all the day the, the, yeah. the cap and you need to pay for it. Yes, this, this cap works properly with the night vision cameras because the LEDs are infrared. Okay, in another way, you can just buy uh, sunglasses, okay? <laughs> so it's, it's better, but are cheaper, okay? Or even if you don't want to spend nothing in, in this, you can. <laughs> Is this this kind of defense okay? It's, uh, it's little uh, cyberpunk, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe you can you can do. So thank you very much, and this is our approach of the defense to the face recognition. Yes, we have a defense, <laughs> and you got put. Thank you, guys. Thank you.